Hello there, this is C-A-N by A-N Kinnan from Kinnan Place and today we're going to play part 18, no, 19, is it? Anyway, uh, we're going to play Baruku Girls, alright, so we're going to continue, uh, next, next, alright this one, so we're going to find out something, where I remember, something, we're playing, I think it's 19 right, part 19, yeah, so I don't know, but I think the only way, I think there's only one reason, real way we are going to find out. And what is that? What is that? Let's find out what is that. Going through the portal itself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Uh -huh. Oh my god, don't tell us. Don't tell me that they're gonna get any here. Uh, we hope you enjoy the cool girls. Thank you for playing. Follow us for the latest updates. What? So what? Are they is it the story haven't ended yet or something like 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 that? Well, I think so. Most probably the story haven't ended yet. Or maybe we didn't choose the right story ending, right? But cannot be, right? You know, because... Cannot be, right? It cannot be that we didn't choose the right right path, then the story didn't end, right? There's only two paths, right? The first one is us, they ask us to choose the central path or the right path. Or the other one is ask us to choose the light or the dark, right? So, so you know what? I, I think most probably they just haven't ended the story yet. So that's that is the main reason why they just ended so abruptly there. Oh my gosh, we just started this 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 part and the whole entire Bergukas ended. That's weird, right? Don't mind, don't mind. We still have one part that 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 we missed out, right? Uh previously we chose the right path, right? So let's choose the central path this time. Yep, I know exactly where it is. Directly after this, right? Af after the village got got rampage or something like that. Alright, clicking as fast as possible as I can. Uh, I'll, I'll change the mouse. I'll click much faster the mouse. Alright, this is a sexy village head. I think she's the prettiest of all the girls that they are in Baruku Girls. What do you guys think? Uh, 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 uh -huh. Alright, she's feeling sad. I don't think Asahi is the prettiest. Hmm, but Asahi does looks looks a bit elvish, right? Alright, so previously we took the right path. Let's take the central path this time. Yeah, 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 all right, 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 you lift her up, sexy, sexy, and so on. Okay, 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 two paths, yes, 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 two paths, all right, all right. Let's slow down, all right, take the central path. So, will we not see Zara if we take the central later that day? So, previously we took the red path and we saw Zara, if you guys remember. So, Asahi, any idea how much longer until we get to your village? It shouldn't be much longer at this pace. At least I hope it wouldn't be much longer. What do you mean? Is something wrong? Asahi frowned and gave a sign shake of a shake to this. Not exactly. However, it seems might we have we might have taken the wrong path. Look. What? At least Asahi pointed aside as I followed her outstretched finger, I frowned unhappily. It's darkness, right? While it was getting darker at night and close us, there was some there was enough space between the trees to allow the light remain what light remained in the sky to show that one of the trees nearby suffered some kind of damage with several blocks splitting across the ground. The top of that the damaged tree was surrounded area was heavily scorched like they had been on fire. What happened? Underwaters? Ducklings? Mm, no, lurkers. Although they have lived in the overworld like the rest of us, lurkers exist outside of the village and the rest of the society. They hide in the shadows, leaving off whatever they can take. Are they dangerous? Nope, not exactly. Most of them, most most of the time, they are just nuisance who care only about themselves. True. Well, you know what? But the lurker we knew changed everything, right? But if there are any lurkers around here, we best take care of them. They are not allied with the underworlders, but that doesn't mean they won't attack if they feel a reason to. I was not happy to hear that Asahi and I were already in a bad position as it was. The last thing we needed was things to get even worse by having yet another potential enemy showed up. Okay, um, so let's take stock of our situation. I'm stuck in another world without any way of getting back. You're injured and can't fight. We're alone in the woods. We got an army of ducklings behind us somewhere who might show up anytime now. And we maybe have lurkers who may or may not show up to cause trouble. So at least things can't get any worse. Oh my gosh, Takashi, don't ever say things can't get any worse. It will. It will. At the moment, I swear, if my hands had been freed, I would have smacked myself in the forehead for saying something so stupid. Yes, exactly. 
it as it was all I could do was groan heavily in dismay. What is it? Is something wrong? Hmm, nope, nope, not really. I guess unless you count me tempting to count me tempting fate as something worse, some something wrong. Tempting fate, what does that mean? Oh you don't know? Deciding that they had obviously never gotten around in inventing television in this world, I hesitated before explaining. Well, um, basically, tempting fate is when you say or do something really stupid that pretty much has you daring the universe to prove you wrong. Well, that's a good explanation. Oh, there's example too. For example, for the instance I say I was stupid enough to say something like nothing could poss possibly go wrong, then... As if on cue, a massive explosion cut me off and was immediately followed by a couple of screams and the sound of something large creaking before falling over. Well, exactly like this. Acting on pure instincts, I word, I will word right, like a worry word, just about just in time to see a brilliant flash of burning light, followed by two shadowy figures tum tumbling through the air, just as a large tree started falling towards Asahi and me. For a moment, I felt my body freezing up in the classic deer in the headlights. Well, well, yeah, deer in the headlights. Well, I, I, I've seen that before, since. But then Asahi cried out, Look out! The cry promptly undid my momentary par par paralysis and sending me leaping out of the path of the crushing tree. Bram! Whoa, they even did the crushing tree any animation, not bad. And just in time to avoid us both being turned into a cranky salsa. Still tired from carrying Asahi all this time and drained somewhat by both the sudden move and the uh, effort needed to recover and stay balanced afterwards, I hurriedly took in the situation. The first thing I noted was the tree, which has settled in place, and then the two figures. They were a boy and girl roughly my age and were dressed in what looked like almost ninja garments, and at the time neither of them looked to be in peak health. Urgh. Well, that's what last one really hurt, and the next one will hurt a lot more if you don't wise up and get out of my face. Getting the distinct feeling that we walked into something unexpected, I just stood there and wa watching and waiting. Wondering what the heck is going on on the third figure, a girl dressed similarly to the others suddenly appeared out of nowhere standing on top of a fallen tree. Well, this is Zara. She was every bit as stacked as virtually every other specimen of the female form I've seen in Baruku. But even as I was wondering in the back of my mind if this world would have been called Planet Hourglass State, Asahi's not a had a figure before us. Lurkers! So go on, Sirak, is it? You too, Laura, Laura, is it? Hurry up and disappear before I hurt you much more. You know what? Either way, Zara appears, even if you take Central or the right route. No way, Zara. Nobody does what you did and gets away with it. Besides, we're all Lurkers. Why do you attack us? Because you were trying to steal my stuff, and Lurkers are not. Nobody gets away with stealing from me. But you are the one who stole the gear from us in the first place. So what? It's mine now and I'm keeping it. Wow, Zara is a boss, right? You don't like it? Whoa, whoa. Take a picture, take a picture. Alright, I got it. Now, how about give this in return? <laughs> An explosion. With that, Zara reached out in the cleavage and brought forth several sticks of dynamite. Sarah and Laura looked at her in dismay as she hurled the dynamite at them, the few somehow lighting themselves. And instant later, the world seemed to blur around me. I realized that several things had suddenly changed. The first was I was no longer holding Asahi in my arms. The second was that I was standing in a different position. The third was that the dynamite I had been thrown at the two lurkers is now flying right at me. Wow! Boom! And that unfortunately was the two of us had, and was all the two of us had the time to do before the dynamite exploded in our face. I had no idea where Asahi was at the moment, but I could still hear, hear her screams mingling and with my own as we sent off flying through the air by the force of the blast. The next thing I knew was crushing into one of the trees stunned in a great deal of pain before I, tum I, trembled, I tumbled to the ground. Blast I missed. While I was busy trying to shake my head free of the stars and comets that were presently fitting my past flitting past my eyes, barely multiple images of Zara looked my way and seemed to frown in consideration. Alright. As for two of you, well well, Asahi, still trying to play the part of warrior then obviously when you're obviously bad at it. Hmm, I think she is. And looks like you made a friend. What? As the Asahi? I will be here. The sound of her pain grew 
pain voice proved sufficient to show at least most of the cosmic phenomena cluttering my head way off my eyes. I gave one final shake of my head before my worldview finally resolved into clarity once more. And once I did, I looked at the dark area until I finally spotted where my unlikely companion had landed. Asahi, oh, you know how in video games and literally everything and whenever the hero nearly gets blown up, she, he or she can just shrug out it off like nothing? Well, either I was built as tough or reality was less like the world of fiction than I had thought because the absolute last thing my body wanted to do was move anywhere else. My frame ached and creaked as I slowly managed to push myself back up to the feet and continued to do so as I made my way over to where Asahi now lay. Hmm, what's wrong with you? I know I haven't seen the star of clothing around here before. You almost didn't see me this time. We almost got blown up. It's not well, you can you can thank Shrek and Laura for that. They are the ones who use you to take the hits meant for them. So who are you anyway? I haven't seen you around before. And why are you wasting your time howling a dead weight like Asahi around? She's not a dead weight. Hmm, I was thinking of that in my mind too. And you, Takashi, don't bother. All you do is encourage her. We need to get moving. If there's any duckings nearby, they must have heard a commotion to our cost. Don't, bo don't bother worrying about that. They, there aren't any ducklings or underworlders near anywhere um, near here. And I should know. I thought I only just met Zara. I quickly link. I was quickly gaining my appreciation as to why Asahi was speaking so scornfully of her. So I did my best to ignore the lurker along with the fresh bumps and bruises and more that I had acquired and strive to bend down and my side arms beneath Asahi's battered frame. Oh, but even as I was trying to force my body to heave Asahi back off the ground and force myself into standing position, I felt a hand on my shoulder. It's pretty obvious that you're not from around here, not with what you're wearing, and I know faces. If I've seen you before, I will, I'll definitely remember, remember that, remember it. But before I could even think of coming up with a clever response to it, I felt a hand upon my posteriors. What? She's being all perverted again, and I would never have forgotten this. <laughs> It was all I could do to avoid falling on top of Asahi and hurting her even more. But as I squat and struggled to avoid an anonymous event, the blonde archer managed to push herself put to push herself up somewhat and glare furiously at Zara. Leave him alone, Zara. He's a traveler new to this land, his name is Takashi. Uh-huh. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot more that you're not telling me, especially since obviously you obviously stink at lying. Groaning in dismay at this, I pause in my efforts to look over my shoulder at Zara only to find her glaring into my eyes. Sexy sexy. So Takashi, you're not from around here and it looks like Asahi doesn't want to talk about where you come from. Hmm, this just got interesting. I thought about saying something. I could, couldn't really think of anything after everything that had happened. All I could do is to crouch there and watch as Zara stood, stood up and smirked. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again, Hakashi, assuming the dead weight doesn't kill you first. She's not. In mid-sentence, Zara disappeared from sight just like that. She had blurred and an instant later, she was gone. Leaving me to crouch as a Asahi groaned in dismay. The dead weight, huh? Oh. Sigh. Just ignore her, Takashi. We don't have time to waste. If there's any ducklings nearby, Zara and Tix would have them heading this way for sure. I knew Asahi was right, but the lurker and her attitude had me dunder up and though I wasn't one for anger, everything I had been through the day had put me close to needing but a final straw to make her blow my sack. So I decided to do something constructive instead. I pushed my body for all the strength I could muster to leave Asahi into my arms once more. Anyway guys, I think we are about to approach the 15 minutes mark so we have to stop here anyway we'll see and i'll see you next episode all right don't bother all right we will see what what, what is going to happen all right goodbye whoa whoa, whoa 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 did you get scared well subscribe to my channel and i promise you you'll never get scared again or watch more videos and you will be able to find your peace in life